Hey guys! Today I am going to be showing you how to dye and highlight your hair at home if you are a blonde like me and you've got some crazy roots going on. Today is a day to watch. So I'm going to be using L'Oreal Preference Light Ash Blonde for all over color. And then I'm going to be highlighting with Garnier Nutrice Lightest Platinum. Here we go. I already pre-mixed the bottle, so just make sure it's shaken up really well. And then I like to start by having my hair in a ponytail so I know it's covering all of my visible roots. And I just start with the hairline. So when you're dyeing your hair at home, you shouldn't ever go more than two shades lighter or darker than what you're trying to achieve because these box colors just are not meant to do drastic changes like that. If you try to go really blonde and you have really dark hair, you'll get orange. And if you try to go really dark or black with light hair, it'll be green or a very blah color. It's not gonna be what you want. So I'm just using my fingers to spread it in there. Put some directly on my hands and make sure that it's getting in there. And then again, for back here in the back. So I use ash or champagne blonde colors because it gets that cool blonde color the best instead of like yellowy brassy so you can see it's still dry back here so now i'm going to start going back here basically do the root area but I'm not gonna bring it down here because when champagne or ash color gets on to already platinum hair it'll turn it like blue gray um, which is okay like it'll wash out after maybe four washes but we don't want that so it's and it's hard on your hair to dye it at home a lot so I try to keep it off the ends as much as possible so it doesn't kill my hair. And then it's important to get in the back too because otherwise you'll have a black hole back there. So I just split it in half like this. Like I'm gonna do pigtails, keep my hand on the spot that I wanna do. And make sure it gets back in there too. And you can kind of guesstimate the side part. Okay. So now I'm just gonna 
put it up and wait the amount of time that the box says to wait. I'm gonna do about half an hour. So you can see, and then I'll check back in so you can see how it looks. It will, once it starts processing, it will immediately start changing color. So don't be afraid of that. It's not gonna be the color that it's gonna turn out as. So if it starts turning like brown, which I'm used to, that like just don't be afraid. Okay, I'll check back in in a little bit. Here we are, 30 minutes later. So like I said, it appears it has turned brown, maybe even a little auburny, but that's not how it's gonna look in the end. So, and also one thing I forgot to mention, you can see, so if you're dyeing your hair a dark color, then you really should put some Vaseline on your hairline so that the the color doesn't dye your skin and your baby hair is a super dark color. So this is, it's going to be a blonde color, so this isn't going to be a big deal. But I have seen people's skin dyed the wrong color. So, all right, it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to shower, wash this out, and then I'll check back in after I dry it for the highlighting portion. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. I've washed it out of my hair and it looks to be kind of strawberry blondish almost, but that's just because it's wet. It's going to be a different color once I dry it. So before I dry, I'm gonna put in some It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff smells amazing. It's pretty affordable, it's not from the salon. I've actually tried salon stuff over this and I keep coming back to this. It's an awesome leave-in conditioner. And then I'm gonna comb it out with a wide tooth comb. I don't ever brush my hair when it's wet because then it can get broken really easily. So this is much more gentle. So then I'll blow it out a little bit and I'll show you the color after the full step one. Okay, we're back again. My hair is dry and then this is the color that I got after using the lightest ash blonde color, um, which isn't so bad. It's actually kind of a nice color by itself, but I'm still gonna go through and highlight on top of it. And once again, we're using the Nutrice Lightest Platinum. And the key to this, which doesn't come with that kit, unfortunately, are these little tools that came with different highlighting kits that I got. So most of the highlighting kits that are in drugstores are fine. Um, they all work pretty well. And so when it says it's a highlighting kit, you wanna look for one that has a little tool like this, um, cause that really helps the process. Um, using the ones with a cap, I wouldn't recommend. They're harder to do, especially with long hair. Um, so I quit using caps a long time ago. Uh, so we're gonna get started here using just these old tools that I have that you can get in pretty much any highlighting kit. I just saved them and because the highlighting kits tend to be a little bit more expensive so I saved the tool and then I just get that platinum color box. Okay so Again, I've already mixed up my stuff and I'm literally just going to squirt it onto the tool and start painting it on my hair. The only thing about these kits is right around this area that I'm doing right now, 
those fine hairs are really hard to make it look professional salon quality. So I'll show you when I'm done and it's dried how it's gonna look. It won't be absolutely perfect, but after a couple days of washings, it really kind of fades and blends in together nicely. So it's good enough for me for now. This is a lot cheaper than going to the salon. I have an amazing hair girl that I go to once in a while, but I can't afford to do my hair every five weeks. Okay, so you can see it's, it's basically just evenly painted on. And now I'm gonna take it down and use the other end of the stick to kind of part my hair how it would naturally fall to get some of those in-between parts back in there. Okay, now I am going to do a half down sum up so I can get that black hole that's in the back that people sometimes forget about. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the results of my at home hair color and highlight. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. It's got some dimension to it. Not bad, not bad. I also gave myself a little hair cut, trimmed it up. Looks pretty fresh and nice. So again, not amazing salon quality, but not bad for $18. Okay. Bye.